a day like this, the world outside presses itself on you with the cold and the wind. But you have to remember the Buddha's basic instruction was that the suffering that weighs down the mind comes from inside, comes from what you're doing inside. So he gives you something to do, and then he asks you to reflect on it. You focus on the breath in and of itself, just the breathing as it feels right here, right now. And try to make it comfortable. In the beginning, that, that's where your main attention is, is getting the breath comfortable. But as you get used to it, used to doing this, you begin to notice what you're doing. It's this self-reflective quality that's important in the practice. Because after all, if what you're doing is causing suffering someplace, but you don't see it, then you're going to keep on producing more suffering. But if you learn how to reflect on what you're doing, you begin to notice, I act in this way, the suffering goes away, I act in this way, the suffering comes back. Then you're on the right trail. This is why the Buddha didn't teach bare attention, which tends to be unfocused and receptive to everything. He taught appropriate attention, where you're asking questions about what you're doing, the results you're getting. The question is, can you get better results? What can you do to change what you're doing, to change the results? That may be the, the Buddha's biggest gift to all of us, is to teach us how important it is to be reflective on our actions. Because so much of the world points our attention outside, outside. And even trying to get us to meditate online, which is where meditation doesn't belong. Meditation belongs inside the body and the mind as you feel them from within. So you can see what you're doing within. In the course of this, you'll be developing good qualities, mindfulness, the ability to keep this in mind, alertness, the ability to watch what you're doing, and ardency, the desire to do it well. Those three qualities have to be informed by appropriate attention. You're mindful about actions and results. You're alert to actions and results, and you try to be ardent in getting good actions and good results. The more you can reflect on yourself in this way, the more you're going to see, and the more suffering you're going to be able to detect and see that it really is unnecessary, and you can put an end to it. So keep reflecting on yourself. This is not to deny that there are problems out there in the world. There are. But again, the Buddha's gift to us is that even in a problematic world, we don't have to suffer. If you had to wait until all the problems of the world were settled before you could put an end to suffering, everybody would die first. There would be no end. So we're learning how to practice in an imperfect world, to develop some perfections in our own mind. And the perfections come from this quality of appropriate attention. So always keep your focus on the right place.